Hi. This is my voice five months from testosterone. And as you can see, it's, it's changing very much, very, changing very quickly. Please help me. Let's do this. Okay. Welcome. This is the second part of a video of me talking about being a singer who is transgender. The first video was about my decision to start taking hormones, and this one is kind of my singing transition timeline, how hormones have affected my singing voice. Before I get into it, I just want to say that my perception of my transition is different than how it was as I was going through each stage of the process. And I'm still in the process of transitioning, but I feel like I'm at a point where I can kind of reflect on the experiences I've had so far. To help do this, I'll be including some clips of me singing or talking at different points in my transition, so look forward to that. Fun fact, when I was in choir in high school, I started out as a soprano one, which if you don't know, it's like the highest female vocal part. But at the end of my choir journey, I ended up being an alto two, which is the lowest female vocal part. And I didn't know that I was trans at the time, but if I did, I probably would have tried to be a tenor. Before starting testosterone, the lowest note I could sing comfortably was D below middle C, which I believe is a D3. I don't really know those terms, but I looked it up. And I did not like singing high notes, but I could get up there if I wanted to. I think my record was a C6, two octaves above middle C. Before I started testosterone, I feel like I was slowly starting to sing songs in a lower range, not like pushing anything, because I felt more and more uncomfortable singing those higher notes. A curious mind plus a lonely guy equals pain in the end, but it goes back again, and the cycle restarts. During months one through three of being on testosterone, I don't think I really experienced much vocal changes but I was able to hit a few notes lower than I could before, and I felt more comfortable hitting those lower notes. She rubs my back for me. On February 14th. Around month three, I got sick with a cold, which would decrease my range anyway, but even after I recovered, I still wasn't able to hit those higher notes. Those notes usually like didn't come out and when they did, it just did not sound good. I think at some points I honestly could like sing less than an octave, which made me super sad. I am three months on testosterone. Wow. I think the most significant change like that you can tell in my opinion, or not you, but like that I can tell is my voice. It hasn't dropped too much, but like it could just be because I'm sick too, but like my voice has changed. Before I got sick, just when my throat was hurting, I could tell my voice was changing a little bit. Singing wise, I can hit an A and maybe lower, fourth lower than I could hit before. It's more difficult to reach higher notes. Yesterday I FaceTimed my parents and um, like when I was trying to say hi to Ginger and my grandpa, I was just like, hi. And it was pretty bad timing because I was in a class where we do co-writes once a semester. Um, we write a song with someone else in the class. And the person I was paired up with, he's a great singer, but he would sing falsetto a lot. He would he really loved to sing those high notes and I had a lot of trouble keeping up with him. So yeah, a lot of the time I would just try to avoid singing songs with higher notes because I knew that I would have a lot of trouble doing it. Oh, I have another fun story. So I have to take lessons every semester in my school. I'm studying music with a singer song under emphasis and um, I was taking singer-songwriter lessons and 
for some reason, I didn't want to tell my teacher that I was taking testosterone, even though he was the first teacher I told that I was trans. I don't know. I felt weird about telling him for some reason, and around month three is when he noticed that something was happening, and he was, like, trying to be respectful. He's like, so I don't know how to phrase this, but, like, are you doing something to make your voice lower? And I was like, yeah, um... I went to the last room. And yeah, he's he's a great teacher. He's super supportive. But for some reason, I didn't want to tell him. I don't know why. As time went on, my voice settled a bit more. And even though I can't sing higher notes as comfortably as I could before, I can still sometimes hit them. And my range has definitely increased again. Hello. Something cool that I forgot to mention before is that I sing a lot of the songs I wrote before taking testosterone and can still do covers of songs I like. I just usually have to like transpose the key or sometimes I sing directly an octave below. Now I am a little over 10 months on testosterone, and I don't know the exact highest and lowest notes that I can sing, but I believe if I had to class my, but I believe if I had to class my, <laughs> but I believe if I had to classify myself, I'd be a baritone. It would probably be good for me if I did some vocal exercises so that I could use my vocal range more effectively, but I usually only really use those higher notes when I'm recording and I want to record some harmonies because I feel like I just don't feel as confident when I'm singing them on their own. But recently I have been singing songs with some higher notes in them. I've been trying to do a cover of a song I love called Crystal by Matt Maltese. I forget if I ever loved anyone else. I also have been trying to write songs with higher notes in them just to make sure that I am using my range and I am practicing those notes. I mean, I have free time, why not? She knows what I like, it's all drink of wine and I've got to take with me. I continue to sing every day. I write and record music just as I used to, and I actually recently released an EP, which is really exciting. It's called A New Chapter, and it's available here on YouTube and also on Spotify, Apple Music, all that jazz. It is pretty weird listening to how my voice sounded before and listening to old recordings because... I really appreciate the ways that I experimented with instrumentation and effects and stuff, but I really like my voice a lot more now, which is good. I'm glad that I actually like my voice. It just feels like me. When I listen to those other recordings, it doesn't really sound like me. It sounds like I know it's me and it sounds like me, but it doesn't. I don't know. Like, when I got short hair for the first time, I just could not imagine myself with long hair anymore. And looking at pictures of me when I was younger is sometimes pretty weird. So it's it's kind of like that, and that's the best way I can explain it. Like, I'm super happy with my voice because it's just me. Even when sometimes I don't sound very good and I'm pitchy, I'm glad that it's me, and I'm glad that I'm myself. So if you have any questions about this or about any other topics that you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments and I will maybe talk about those things because I've been kind of wanting to make some YouTube videos recently. So let me know. Have a nice day. Peace out.